Howdy guys, Woody from Seat Time here. So a few days ago, I posted a poll to the Seat Time Facebook page. I'm kind of at a sticking point in the Moto Van build. We've been posting videos for that on the YouTube channel if you haven't seen that recently. So what I wanted to do was source some ideas in this sticking point to the Facebook community. That's you guys out there. So thanks for being a part of that and for watching. So what's the question? The question is, now that I'm ready, to install the flooring in the van, what mounting system do we go with? What are we going to use to mount dirt bikes to the floor of the van? So in the poll, I offered two options, the risk racing lock and load mount or the RB components wheel chalk. Both are removable and I can mount them to the L-Track that I want to install on the floor. I like the idea of the lock and load mounts due to the lack of tie down straps. And I like the wheel track idea because it's common and cheaper even though it does include straps. So first off, definitely thank you very much to all the votes and responses. We got enough responses for different manufacturers and products that I wanted to go through them with you here on YouTube. First off, let's go through the responses to see what people are saying. One of the things that took me aback was the love for the lock and load system for Risk Racing. I thought it looked like a cool product, but apparently you guys have been using it for years and have had some real enjoyment from it. Next, we saw a few people post up about the MX mounts. This was a product I didn't know about. It looks like a viable option, and we'll dig into the pros and cons here in a minute. Ty Richardson's comment caught my attention mentioning the bolt it on system. I know I have seen these before, but I didn't know the brand. After some Googling, I found another brand making something similar. Pit Posse sells a foldable recessed wheel chalk that looks like it would be a great chalk option. Even better that it gets out of the way when not in use with quick ease. They also have a more traditional wheel chalk option for easy removal. Not only did we post this poll to Facebook, we also posted this on an, as an Instagram gallery, getting responses there as well. More love for the lock and load system as well as the MX mounts. We didn't get any new options though from Instagram. If you think we're missing a mounting system, let us know in the comments. We want to make sure that everyone out there has the ability to see all of the options out there and that we can grow this list for the future. So let's go through the systems and break down the pros and cons that we see. Starting with the Risk Racing Lock and Load System. Pros, no straps. This seems like an amazing thing to have so you can crawl around your vehicle while bikes are in there and not have to go through the spider web of straps. Quick, easy, and removal, which is great for being able to take them off when you get to the track or put them in quickly when you're looking to load your bikes. Lastly, I can definitely find a way for this to work with the L-Track. A con is I need special L-Track layout for these mounts. Another con would be I would need three of these and that's very expensive. These units are $179.99 per unit. So that means for three of these without tax or shipping, it would be $540. A potential for being finicky, but that seems like a case-by-case -case basis. So we did have a few people that said that they were a little bit finicky, they were hard to work with, but then others seemed to love them. So I do think that it's a little bit more case-by-case. -case. So moving on to the wheel chocks. So Pit Posse had one, their traditional chrome chalk at $39.95 and they had the recessed chalk at $54.95. RB Components wheel chalk was at $64.95. There are going to be others on the market, but these were just some of the ones that people pointed us towards. Some of the pros here, of course, would be easy install and removal with the L-Track. And the wheel chocks are easy to use. There's not much way to screw these guys up. You put the front wheel against them, you use your straps and pull them down, and things are good to go. Of course, too, with these wheel chocks, really good prices. Some of the cons, of course, would be straps and how strong are they? <laughs> So let's move on to the MX mount. So this was a mount that I had seen before but hadn't really heard much of. These guys go for $149 um, on their sites. So for me, a big pro is simple. These guys is a bar across the, the your truck bed and then two bars each for each bike and a way to mount to the foot pegs. Very simple. I think for being able to mount two bikes in your truck bed, $150 is a very reasonable price. Cons, only two bikes. I'm looking to be able to mount three in the long run. So moving on to the bolt it on system. I had seen this in principle before. I know I'd seen pictures of it, never seen it in person, had never looked at the prices before, but the bolted on three bike system looks like it goes for $335.70 on the website. I do like the fact that it seems to be easy install and removal. The ability to mount three bikes, much needed in my case. 
and very little setup needed. I didn't really have to plan my flooring. I could just make sure that the stock D-rings in the Sprinter were usable with the J-hook configuration that they have with that setup. One con is I still have to use straps with the bikes. Uh, some people are kind of like straps isn't a big deal, but in the long run, the less straps you can use, the easier it is to maybe throw things around your trailer or your Sprinter as you're trying to move things around. One of the other things I thought up is how secure is this system that Bolted On has? Um, the two J-hooks go to the D-rings that are stock in the vehicle, but you have three bikes, you know, we'll call that 250, 300 pounds per bike. If you have 750 pounds on those two J-hooks and you were to get in an accident, how well will that hold that system in place? One of the other things we found while Googling the bolted on system was the beast racks. Now it looks like their racks are very comparable to the bolted on racks that are created, um, but they do offer an Econo version, which, which kind of like caught my eye and it's so $299. It's very close to the bolted on, but it's cheaper. How secure is it? And you still have to use straps when you're mounting the bikes uh, to the system itself. So good price. But uh, yeah, how, how is it compared to some of the other ones? That's what we're trying to figure out. Those are some of the pros and cons of the mount systems that were brought to our attention from what we saw before we started the poll. And then, of course, once the poll got going and you guys, the seat time community, really, really brought that to our attention. So thank you to those that did comment on the poll and on Instagram. And, and remember, if, if there's something that you do know about for mounting your dirt bikes to your trailer or your Sprinter van, um, let us know in the comments if we did not mention those. We'd love to know about more. After reading through all the thoughts from the seat time community, I want to go with the risk racing lock and load mounts. But for three bikes, that's almost $600. That is a lot of money for those three mounts to put in the Sprinter. As well, I would have to have three different sections of very specific L-Track on the floor of the Sprinter to hold those mounts. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Got to spend some time thinking about it. That's very specific and a lot of money. I like the idea of the MX mount, but it only holds two bikes and the setup isn't going to be flush with the floor. I just don't feel that the MX mount's setup is going to be good for the specific build that I'm trying to create in the Motovan Sprinter build. I think most of the wheel chalk configurations are good configurations. The The layout with the L-Track will work wherever you want them, um, and you can use the threaded bolts for the L-Tracks to make sure that they're secure and that they're mounted. You just wanna make sure when you mount the L-Track that it's actually bolted through and using steel bars underneath the steel of the floor. You don't want to just try to use something like a plus nut or a riven nut or anything like that. The security of that with a 300 pound motorcycle flipping forward in a wreck I just don't think that that would hold, and I think those rivet nuts or those plus nuts would pull right out. You just want to make sure that if you're going to mount any of the L-Track for wheel chocks or for the lock and load mounts, that you use steel bars underneath the flooring, and that's what you bolt through. The one system that has me intrigued, though, is the bolted on and beast rack systems. I think I'm going to order the beast rack econo kit and see where we get. It's a good option due to the price, but how effective is it really? I'm going to order it and let you know. I just really appreciate your activity on the Facebook poll and Instagram post. You've helped me shape the Motovan build. If you haven't seen the beginning of the project, check out the build playlist. If you have more questions, comments, or concerns on the mounts, leave them in the comments. Remember, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more seat time videos. I mean, I'm going to be riding again soon. Luckily, the hole in my leg is healing just fine, and Liam is super excited to be putting together some more riding videos, so we'll definitely have some Liam and Woody riding videos coming to the YouTube channel soon. So remember, always enjoy a pint full of awesome, and if nothing else, we'll see you on the internet.